Hello everyone. Uh, in this particular question, I will be looking at, um, or in this particular presentation, we'll be looking at the interest on fixed deposit. Normally, uh, when you're given fixed deposit, uh, the interest that you have received most of the times, it won't be the uh, total interest that was receivable during that particular uh, financial year. So there will be outstanding uh, interest income. So you always need to, to calculate and check whether is there an outstanding interest um, income that is interest on fixed deposit. Remember, fixed deposit is an asset that we earn as interest. Okay, moving to the question, it says you are provided with a pre-adjustment trial balance on 31 uh, December 2019. Fixed deposit is 55,000. Then interest on fixed deposit, that means these amounts you find them in your uh, income statement, sorry, in your trial balance, right? Uh, then the adjustment says interest on fixed deposit was earned at 8%. So always when they give you fixed deposit, they need to give you uh, the percentage uh, that you're earning interest, right? Sometimes you find that uh, they've got two different fixed deposits that earn two different um, interests. So you need to calculate their inter the interest income separately. Right, uh, that is per year. So that's an annual interest. Take into account that fixed deposit was increased. Right. Uh, so there was an increase in fixed deposit by 30,000 on 1 September 2019. Uh, then this transition was recorded. So when they say this transition, that means this transition is part of the 55,000. Let's see how we work out uh, the interest on fixed deposit. So, uh, We'll have an opening balance right, of interest. That's another way of, I'll show you the other way of calculating it. Right, we have an opening balance of uh, interest on fixed deposit. Right, uh, that will be 55,000 minus 30,000. Right, uh, this will give you 25,000. So this was the opening balance on fixed deposit. Then you apply this by 8%. Right, uh, you get interest of uh, 25,000. Right, uh, that will be 25,000 times 8%. That will be 2,000. Right, uh, that is the interest that we have. Right, uh, then we'll have uh, the amount, this 30,000. So this will be 30,000, right, additional. That will be uh, 30,000 times 8% times uh, from September, uh, from 1st of September 2019 to uh, 31 December 2019, that will be five months at September, October, November, September, October, November, December, that will be four months times four over what, 12, which gives you, and that's 30,000, times 8%, then uh, times 4 divided by 12, uh, this is 800. So total interest receivable is 2,800, and they only received uh, 2,200. So there is uh, accrued income, Uh, of 2,800 minus 2,200, which is equal to 600. So this 600 will be part of uh, not numbers 
six, five, not number five. Trade and other are receivables. Right is um, accrued income, not number five, because number six is cash and cash equivalency. So not number five. Right. Not number five. So that will be your accrued income. That will be part and parcel of um, trading the receivables. So you always have to calculate uh, the percentage. And normally, if the question is silent, right, um, you always assume interest on fixed deposit is not being capitalized, right? If the questions are silent, it's not being capitalized, but the question says it's capitalized, the calculation becomes completely are different right uh, so uh, that's our uh, interest on fixed deposit right and calculating outstanding interest right then that outstanding income or our accrued income will form part of your trade and other uh, receivables not number number five uh, please if you like uh, this video please do subscribe to this channel uh, and like it and share with others so that uh, you know the channel can grow that will be appreciated greatly. Thank you.